Cape Cod Tornado Storm Damage Assessment. I'm in my parking lot walking out towards Cedar Street. My next door neighbor uh, is a multi doctor's office. And he's been closed since the tornado. And he's been closed because this tree was partially uprooted <laughs> fell on the power lines. Dale Bryant, Sony News Network. There's part of the trunk here. Now facing this direction, north, I'm right here in that building there. And, like I uh, said before, my neighbor's uh, patio furniture, his umbrella, swept up beyond the, by my second floor window and uh, ended up on my neighbor's deck on the second floor. But apparently the tornado moved in this direction here, north-northeast, which is where the direction of the uh, Cape Sands Inn is. Now we're facing south again, walking back toward my apartment building. But according to the weather map that I've seen, we were at the edge of the tornado. Uh, and that's why all the all these trees here, all of these trees, from my view, from my window, these were all nearly horizontal. The larger branches were uh, almost horizontal when the peak of the uh, winds occurred. ABC News guest science editor, Jules Bergman. The Cedar Street apartment complex, which was a victim of the Cape Cod tornado, though it is intact, uh, this second floor apartment ended up with an extra patio umbrella uh, on the deck which came from this table over here. Jules Bergman, ABC News, Science Course.